And hello, hello, this is Manji. We're playing more Photogon Simulator. I say more, but I haven't played it on the channel yet. I, I've played it on stream, enjoyed it a bunch, never played it again. I figured, hey, why not play some more? This is a roguelike deck builder based on roulette with a few interesting mechanics and also it's based on Lovecraft and lore, kind of. <laughs> and your goal is to summon an old god at the end of the week. And you do that by gathering enough spirits for a ritual. The early morning sunlight penetrates the eyelids and drives away the abyss of fearful darkness. Open your eyes, it is a familiar room. Where madness grows unchecked, take a deep breath. The air flows into the nasal cavity with the heavy smell of blood. Because 40 spirits. Musty as one random non-spell rare card. Herbal, obtain the golden bow. And perfume, adds two random common offering. Let's go with perfume for now. The cheap perfume mixed with the smell of cigarettes was pungent. The gaudy drapery covered the crumbling wallpaper peeling walls. Clothes were scattered on the rose red chair carpet beside the bed. Next to me, last night's guest was still sleeping on a surprisingly large soft bed. The wild ritual of a dream was so intoxicating, many bodies entwined, dissolving everything in pleasure. So spread the pleasure and let the world be its captive. The game is on Steam. If you want to check out the game yourself, you know, it's fully released. It's relatively cheap, you know, it's one of those games that are like seven bucks, six bucks, you know. And I do recommend checking it out. So, you know, check the links in the description for that. We're going to start the game here. It's the first night. Over here, you can see our graveyard. When the card is destroyed, it's sent to the graveyard. Over here, we can see our deck. Right now, we have two travelers and two childs, two children. These have a rarity, so if you check over here, you can see that it's got a white orb at the top left corner. That means it's an, a common card. It's got its name, it's a traveler, a spirit value, so it's got one spirit. So when it gets activated, it gives us one spirit. It has a tag, so it's a human offering. Aside from that, it also has a card effect. It gives eight spirit when destroyed. And over here, we've got a child which also has an effect on it, you know. It's a human offering with might, so it's placed into the might archetype. Grants four might to the card which destroys this card. And might is, essentially, it raises the spirit value of a card and raises the spirit value by one point for each point of might, but might is cleared upon entering a new level. And the child gives two spirit. We also can banish cards removing them for a cost. Right now it costs zero. And the more we banish, the more expensive it gets. Aside from that, we can also place cards. Over here, for instance, we can lock cards too. Say, okay, we'll lock these two and nothing will be placed there. We can place a child here if we want to. But we can't place more. We can only place a certain amount of cards. And yeah. We've got Chantek. If there is an empty slot on the field, move to a random empty slot. The egg has a 15% chance to transform into young, which has a 50% uh, chance to transform into a dark young. And as for Thermal Stone, which is an item that attaches to a human or monster, the burning on the card that is attached to becomes a positive effect. And burning lowers the spirit value of the card. Each point of burning will drop a point of spirit value. Uh, for now, I'm going to add Chantek. Which is good. Then let's add another child here. I'm gonna place Shantak right here. Shantak is a monster that has the tracking tag. It gives two spirit, and if there's an empty spot, empty slot on the field, it moves to a random empty slot. So it will move over and over and over and over. You know, theoretically. Just like that, so it moved forwards, and now it moved back a bit, so, yeah. Cool stuff. Um, let's see, we've got the deep one, which has a 50% chance of gaining one might, temporarily. Actress, which doubles the amount of spirits given by the item on this card. We currently don't have any items, but it gives three, so might as well, it's a human. It will get destroyed by monsters that destroy humans. 
Shantek moved back, so we didn't get it procced again. Um, let's get a Holy Water, which attaches to a human and gives free spirit. So if that goes on to the, uh, the actress, it will give us six spirit instead of three. On top of that, we've got environments, which we, which basically, when they get activated, it activates their effect. It gives one spirit whenever monsters are activated. So let's get that for now. I'm gonna place the environment here because it needs to be activated first. So when that gets activated, we get the environment effect for the rest of the turn. So this is a monster. We get some spirit from the environment every time. It can only be one environment. And over here we've got a sand dweller, which destroys adjacent humans. Lovely. Now we sacrifice 40. Gains an additional card selection every 5 turns. Or monolith grants additional 1 might when gaining might. Let's go with the... Do we have stuff that gains might? I wonder. Not really. Uh, let's go with a Painted Skull. An additional card selection every five turns seems pretty good. The Kraken is a monster draw and belongs to Cthulhu. Destroys adjacent humans. It draws one card from the deck whenever this card destroys a card. The Formless Spawn. Destroys is a rare. This one is uncommon for Teenager. Destroys adjacent human. Gains one multiple whenever this card destroys a card. Multiple is cleared when entering a new level, and when uh, when activating a card, each point of multiple will give spirits of a card spirit's value once more. So it basically gives a spirit value times the amount of multiple we have. And then we'll go for Teenager. Let's go with a Teenager. It's got one crowd, which prevents it from being destroyed one time. But the card value still happens, and the killer effect also still happens. Good. We have cards from the graveyard, so I'm gonna go with a Call of the Dead. This is a spell. It will destroy itself after returning one random card from a graveyard to the deck. It costs one spur to use them. We got the uh, holy thing. Serpent people. Returns one random snake from a graveyard to the deck. Let's go for that. We don't have any snakes just yet, but it will be useful when we do. Madman has one multiple. Chocho gives four spirit plus one because it's a monster. Let's reduce this. Grants one multiple to the card which destroys this card. Let's go with that. The man of truth understands that illusion is the only reality and that matters is deception. Except, I don't know what this does, so um, let's do it on the holy water. And we gained another sand dweller. Interesting. A, a card got transformed into another card here. Attaches to human or snake, adds free snake when destroyed. Yik statue, let's go for that. And let's re-roll here. Got the theater, which is a rare one. Whenever a card other than theater gains drama, this card gains the same drama. It's an environment. We'll go with holy water instead. Break the seal. We have 299 spirit right now. We have to sacrifice 140. So we're remaining with 42. No, uh, 159. Mercury draws X card from the deck at the beginning of the turn. X is half the number of locked slots. Grants one might to the current monster for every six months activated. I 
see. Interesting. Attract. Despite itself, they're granting one crowd to all humans on the field. Let's go for that. And let's go with draw cards. Let's get the old man. Draws two cards from the deck when destroyed. More than anything, is a human that uh, can be eaten by the sand dwellers. Oh, there's a snake. I'll take a snake. The snake will destroy itself and be sent to the graveyard. Also, it will draw one card. Um, which doesn't matter right now because we don't have enough to do that. Let's get Abundance, which destroys itself and then grants 11. Gives no other ways, you know? Just so, just as 11. Um, let's roll once. Destroys adjacent environment. Oof. 30% chance of getting one permanent might. Oh, that seems pretty good. And pistol attaches to human or monster, destroys adjacent human. The card that is attached uh, is considered as destroying source. Um, I'm gonna roll here again. There's another snake. I'll take the snake. I like snake. Snake. So the worm mage will just get more might, and it's permanent, so it stays that way. I'm gonna add a servant on Clacky because it will possibly destroy itself. Sitting at 403 spirit right now. We still have one more turn after this. I believe. Oh, never mind. That was it. 300. Gain additional free card selection after obtaining this relic. Sure. Reverses the spin direction when discarded. The elder thing. Destroys itself after generating five random spells. Um, environment effect. Of I'm gonna roll here. <laughs> None of these were super great. Abundance, okay. If a card of the next slot is human, grants one crowd to that card. Let's take the missionary. Um, let's take a holy water. And let's take a child. On top of that, we also gain one more card that we can pick. Attach it to human and monster, despite itself of granting four might to the card that it is attached to. The energy potion seems pretty good. On to the next night, we need to reach a total of 120. We are currently at 160. And the target. You can also hit space instead of clicking, by the way. I'll take the reporter, which grants one multiple to a card that, you know, hits it. Uh, there's a homeless man, which grants four spirits. The snake destroys itself, and because our board was full and we still had a card left, it drew one. I'm gonna roll here. I'll take the servant of Kalaki. is nice. If you need, you don't need to be old stuff. You can bring it to me in exchange. We can trace stuff. Oh, yeah, right. It loses all, lose all relics, gain a cool amount of random relics. So we got knife grants one might to all monsters on the field at the beginning of turn one of the new level. Wooden spoon potions trigger twice. And bell whenever a monster or human is sent to the graveyard, grants one might to a random monster or human on the field. We had something going on earlier, and now we don't anymore. <laughs> Uh, 
Just fair, I guess. I should have read ahead. Um, ghoul is okay, I guess. I'm gonna skip here. I don't want any of those. Let's take... Oh, Moonbeast gives free spirit whenever a card on the field is destroyed. I'll take it. Seems pretty good. Got a bunch of snakes now. There's a card that really synergizes with snakes. Attaches to him and destroys itself while granting free crowd to a card that it is attached to. That sounds pretty good. All these snakes are getting destroyed and sent to the graveyard, but they draw cards, which is good. We sacrifice a bunch of souls and are now left with, I believe, 110. Whenever a card is sent to the graveyard, distribute all buffs from it randomly to monsters or humans on field, except countdown. Environment will be placed in the front card slots during a draw phase. Oh, so we don't have to even lock it anymore. The map is okay. Um, whenever a card is sent to the graveyard, Seems pretty good. I'll take the wills. Color from outer space. My favorite story from the Bale Lovecraft. Destroys adjacent environment. Gains one permanent multiple whenever this card destroys a card. Interesting. Spend 80% of total spirits to reset the time bar. Destroys itself afterwards. Wow. Three countdown grants. X might to all humans on the field. X is half the number of their own crowd around it. I'm gonna roll here gonna roll again. None of these are good. I should have taken the color. Um, I'm gonna skip. Snakes. Yeah, 50% chance of adding snake whenever snake is sent to the graveyard. I think I like that. I'll take Yoth. Uh, it's an environment card. We're gonna place Yoth right here, and we're going to banish the other environment that we had. The mountain. Spirit potion is pretty great. I'll take it. Especially since they get triggered twice, the effects. We got another snake there. Attach someone to a card that is attached to Canada effect. It's effect. Grant one temporary multiple to a card that it is attached to. Hmm. I'll take the believer, it's a human that will eventually get crowd to all other units, but or it will just die immediately. That's fine. Yav is doing good work here. I'll take a tract, because it will give crowd to all humans on the field. The Moonbees is doing amazing work with the snakes. Having another one of those would be nice. I'll get the Call of the, sea, uh, call of the Dead. One Mage also looking good right now. Uh, I'm gonna skip here. None of these are all that great. Keep drawing snakes because new snakes get added to our deck every time that stuff happens. I'm gonna go for another serpent people to add more snakes to our deck and bring them back from the graveyard, and then they get drawn by other snakes. 540 right there, sacrificed. Human starts with crowd plus one, affects cards in the graveyard, and newly added cards. Okay, or oh, philosopher said 50% chance, uh, chance of not playing, paying the cost of a spell is interesting, but we don't really do that much. Let's go with a pager for now and start return. If they had at least three god with, uh, gods with different names on the field, destroy itself and spend all spirits to skip the next three levels. Sheesh, that's great, theoretically. Uh, considers to have all card names and tags except environment spell and item with five spirit and adds uh, Nyla Totep when destroyed. I'll take that one. It's everything basically. 
I think it might be considered a snake too. Because of that. Snakes keep getting added and drawn and added, destroyed, and drawn. All is good. More than 50 cards in the graveyard achievement. Graveyard 50. I'll take another snake. Do I need another snake? Oh, I mean, I'll take it. It's fine. It draws something either way, so it doesn't matter too much whether or not we have too many snakes. Because they give six each. Plus they destroy themselves, so we get stuff from a moon beast too. It's only important that we draw a moon beast in the first place. Chocho, we might be able to. We might remove the Chocho. Oh my god, look at it. It's nearly infinite. Yarf has a 50% chance of triggering, to be fair. I'm gonna roll here. I'm gonna hope to get a specific one. We could also just add Nylat Totep. Let's do that. Just so you know, there's a guy snooping around about you. I'll turn a blind eye to what you do with him. Track. Select Nyala. The investigator was successfully erased. Gives 80 spirit. Oh, we got... Did it remove Nyala? I'm not sure. Confused about what just happened there. Yeah. I'm gonna reroll here. I'm gonna skip. We might want to remove some of these, like Chocho isn't really doing too much for us. For C, draws one card from the deck. If a card drawn is not a monster, draw one more card. Hmm. I'll take the Holy Watcher. I'll banish something. In fact, I'm gonna remove the Sandweller over here, because we don't really do much with humans. I'm gonna remove the other Sandweller too, and the Shantak. Chocho still does give us a good amount of salts. Seven right there. Thanks for temporary might. Starts return again. It's a spell. It's a time spell. I mean, we have one god, I guess. I don't think we need it. I want to have a snake built. I'm gonna skip here. Don't really have stuff that destroys. Draw five cards from a deck at the beginning of turn one of a new level. 20% chance of generating a random small uh, spell at the beginning of the turn. I'm gonna go with Space Beat. Got another Nyala. Kusuga has to. Um, I'll go with Nyala. Totap. Um, we can go with Draw Things. I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> it wasn't great. Should have just gone with something else entirely. Last level. This combo seems pretty strong. I'm gonna roll here. Destroys itself after returning one random human or monster from the graveyard to the deck. Grants free crowd to the revived card. Cards with higher rarity have a higher chance of being revived. Enough. 
Yig statue. Attaches to human or snake. Adds free snake when destroyed. I'll go for it. It's a snake item. Got more snakes now. And they'll all get drawn and destroy it and add more snakes in the process. Look at it. Look at it. It's so beautiful. Snake. Skip here. Didn't really get much there. Um, I'm gonna skip here as well. There's another snake. I'll take it. Target. We already met our goal there. Still have one more turn after this too. Spray potion is good. Sacrifice will break part of the seal, 7 out of 7. For 800 soul. Enter endless mode? Sure. We won. Uh, gives expert at the end of a turn. Access the number of cards of a graveyard. I'll take it. I love it. It's Itaka. Grants freezing to adjacent human ones, so this card does not skip an activation because when this card is present, freezing additionally doubles for base spirit value gain. Interesting. I'm gonna roll here though. Gonna roll again. Gonna roll again. Proliferating potion that attaches to a human or monster destroys itself over granting one multiple to a card that is attached to. Items that um, get uh, items get destroyed together with the um, card that they're attached to. By the way, I'm gonna skip here. We get so many cards that get destroyed, you know? The snakes destroy themselves non-stop in the graveyard. I'm gonna skip here again. Drink me. Select a human and monster to gain two permanent might. Um, the worm mage? You can still scale a lot. Oh, it throws itself after doubling might on all cards of on the field. Sounds amazing. So set permanent might on the worm mage now. Twenty-eight. Okay, skip. There's a card that synergizes with all the um, snakes in the graveyard. So I'm hoping to get that one. Turn a copy of one random card on the field. Excludes a uh, card with the same name. Go for it. Get another moon beast, that would be amazing. Oh, we got another snake, a, a serpent people. Which is good, I think, but also not good. I would have loved to get another Moon Beast, frankly. Chocho. Might get rid of a Chocho. But right now, we don't have a full board just yet. Break the seal for 1,200 spirit. Map environment will be placed in the front card slots during the draw phase. Items have a 50% chance of being destroyed instead of uh, discarded instead of destroyed. Oh, that's interesting. Yig gives X spirit. X is for number of snakes in the graveyard. That's the one I meant. Oh, 
Oh, so that one doesn't get destroyed. It just, it just generates a copy. Oh, that's fantastic. I might just go for another one then. I'll get that. Item. That's a lot of spirit it just gave. And Yoth will keep adding uh, snakes with 15% chance, chance of adding that. Uh, stars return, this Kafuga. Gonna reroll here. None of these are too great. There's another Yig. I'll take another Yig. I'm gonna banish for Chocho. Keep our deck smooth and silky. All of the Nyala toe taps are kind of snakes, and they add extra snakes when destroyed. We don't have really have ways of destroying them though. If we get a gun, that would be amazing though. There's a gun that kills humans, and they 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 count as humans. I'll go with Call of the Dead here and hope that it adds something cool. Added a snake, which is good. I've got a lot of yigs here. I'm gonna take a yig statue. I'm gonna banish something. I'm gonna, in fact, banish one memory retrieval. It keeps adding more and more, but it might break the combo, <laughs> basically. Might remove another one actually. Because we got a lot of yigs, which is fine. Thirty-two might on the worm mage. Gonna roll here. Stars return. Gonna skip. Sitting at 2,341 spirit out of 1,800. I'm gonna sacrifice 1,800, still left with 940. Draw one card from the deck at the beginning of the turn. Draw one card when you, from the deck when you lose spirits. Interesting. There are 100 card slots at maximum on the field. That's cool. Oh look, it's another Yig. I'll take it. Why not? For the synergy. York Sofov. Mm. Silver key destroys itself after skipping the current level. I mean, sure. <laughs> That just seems very, very strong. But now we need 4,050 at the cost of 50. There's another snake. I'll take it. The Yoth just adds more snakes, so we never lose them from a graveyard. There will be just more and more of them. We check over here real quick. How many snakes do we have? 106. Well, 108, because these are buffed. Yig statue. I'll take it. Just gonna go maximum. I'm gonna skip this. And we're going fast. Go with a revive with Great Gun. We got an old man. 
Yig statue. There's another snake. Now again, if we find the gun, it's good. We sacrifice 40, like 450. 25% uh, reduction on banish prize is great. Contemporary might from minus one to plus three to monsters when entering the field. Let's go coupon. There's another yig. I'll go with Bowl. It's not optimal, but it will destroy humans. There's another Yoth. Don't really need it. There's another Bowl. Don't really need it. I think one is fine. So the idea that I have is that Bowl eats the Nyala Totab, which is considered everything. It will add itself back. All is good. Yeah, I'm gonna skip. Yeah. And we'll just scale some extra. Bowl will just scale a little bit, I guess. Possibly. It might make our run worse for now. Adding a random item, not really need it. Bowl didn't even spawn this time around. Oh, Bowl did kill both of the Nyala Totops. Which are added back into the deck, by the way. I'll add a uh, stasis. And again, that's one more snake, technically, to the uh, graveyard, which then, in turn, gets, um, you know... Ooh, Moonbeast is nice. I'll take one Moonbeast. What just happened? What was that boom sound? I'll take the snake. I can banish the old man because they're rough. I'll banish one yellow to the. And this moon beast over here. Okay, will we make it to 6,000? February 2nd, Candlemas. I've been plagued by nightmares. Dreams are always jumbled. I saw steep mountains plunging into the sky, a silvery white desert with no life and sand. An ancient city sunk in the depths of the dark sea in all its majesty and grandeur. And much, much more that I could not describe with words or even understand with my common sense. I've never seen such landscapes and pictures or photographs as if they should not exist on this planet. I got three achievements. Win a game, normal ending, unlock card keep. You have unlocked a new mechanism. And also extra difficulty unlocked. I'll take a screenshot here. Elder God Awakens. Nice. 500 spirit in a single round, 20 or more cards in the graveyard, at least 5 rare cards, number of turns past 78, God Awakens plus 100. And that was nice. There you go. There's a bunch of relics that you can check out over here, for instance, as well as cards. You know, lots of cards. If I filter for uh, something specific like snakes, call snakes. Hold up. Snake, serpent people, Nyala. Yig, we saw those, and Yoth, Yig statue as well, call snakes, spell snakes, destroys itself after generating snake onto all empty slots on the field. Oh, that would have been useless, so I'm glad we didn't get that, but still. And there's a bunch of them, you know, there's like king and yellow cards over here. 
which um, work with drama, which is an effect essentially. Then there's also like potion effects, burning effects, investigator. Wait, 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 investigator? Police, human investigator, destroys adjacent monster, cannot be banished. Detective, destroys adjacent environment, cannot be banished. Scholar, destroys adjacent spell, cannot be banished. Destroys a tight item attached to itself and adjacent cards, cannot be banished. The collector. And Nyala. <laughs> Nyala's just everywhere. What gods are there? There's a lot of gods. There's Kukfulu, there's Shub Shub. Uh, Yog. Groff. Kfuga. Itaka. Nyala Totap. My beloved. As a toted, sends adjacent cards to the graveyard directly. Not considered to destroy it and ignores crowd. Oh. Interesting. Yig and house two. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. I like it. The game is pretty cool. If you want to check it out for yourself, go check out the link in the description. There's a Steam link right there. A link to the Steam page. It's also my socials. We do stream on Twitch. If you want to hang out sometime. In fact, this upcoming Saturday, we're most likely going to, most likely going to play Cultist Simulator, which is an interesting management game where you create a cult and explore the forbidden and mystique and stuff. And yeah, good game as well. So yeah, if you're into that, Saturday, 6 p.m. Central UK in summertime, or GMT plus two. Sunday, more Pokemon Fire Red as well. We do vibe a lot. We do play a lot of indie games and roguelikes. So come in and out. Anyways, I had a fantastic time. I hope you enjoyed yourselves as well. If you want me to play more of this, let me know about it. Same thing about if you want me to try out a different build of swords. And yeah, I'll see you around. Until next time. Bye-bye.